Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. Talk or just uh, talk? If you're on your way somewhere, we don't have to stop, but if you'd like to, you can. Sure. Uh, so, uh, I'm sorry, you didn't have guys have the nameplates out, so I didn't know who you were. But. I'm Representative Randy Kushner. All right, uh, so earlier today, uh, I wasn't recording at the time, but you had mentioned there was a case here in New Hampshire where a guard at one of the female halfway houses was... Yeah, the shape uh, Was it, and you said there was some implication that the perpetrator in that instance stated that he targeted these people based on... Them having been charged with prostitution? The, perpetrator, the perpetrator, the guy that was convicted, I think his name was Tony, I can't remember his name, but he was found, he was convicted of like 10 counts of um, sexual assault against inmates there. Um, no, the discussions that I had with people who were in the, uh, um, you know, victim certain, it, it seemed to them that the people that he targeted, you know, convicts that he targeted, for to sexually assault had also had been charged with prostitution. And so and I don't know that I don't have any hard data. This is just kind of anecdotal stuff that was sent along. Okay, and um, in New Hampshire, like currently, it's a, I believe a felony for prostitution. Like it's a misdemeanor for prostitution. It's a felony for trafficking. Okay, and uh, so it's a misdemeanor if you are. The prostitute, if you're the John, or if you're the pimp. Mm -hmm. um, there seemed to be a lot of confusion as to what to call different people in different instances, how they wanted to be identified, either as victims or as people engaging in a consensual activity. Um, do you feel that the New Hampshire law uh, is is correct as it is, or do you think it should be changed to kind of change the the metrics by which people are considered criminals or victims, etc.? I mean, the law is what it is right now. It just says a person who, you know, arranges for sex to be sold, who engages, either purchases sex or sells sex, it's all considered prostitution. And there was a, one of the representatives referenced that the Department of Labor would probably take issue with people being called sex workers. Do you, uh, do you think that it, it changes the dynamic if people are trading things that are not money? Do you think that it should still... It, the law would still treat that as crime if, let's say, people are using alternative currencies? I haven't even thought about alternative currencies. I haven't thought of any of that. I mean, I just think it's a, you know, it's a, you know, it's something where it's, there's, I guess, I'm not that much in a contract law, but I guess is an offer of value and acceptance that underlies it. Okay. And, uh, Kind of an off-topic issue, but as a state representative here in New Hampshire, is there anything that the federal government is doing right now that you take issue with and believe that the state should be taking steps to counter? In the context of what? what um, well, for example, uh, whether it's something overseas like the military is doing, or here in New Hampshire, the, the federal government is uh, began doing like border enforcement checkpoints on the interstate. I'm not wild about a lot of federal, federal intrusion to the state. I mean, I use a perfect example. I don't think that the federal laws concerning cannabis should uh, override New Hampshire's state law. Um, do you think that uh, it... I was going to say, like... Okay, yeah, I'll let you go. Have a good day. So some interesting things were just said in that committee I just got out of. Uh, there was a bill relative to giving liquor enforcers in New Hampshire more police powers, and um, I believe they're ITLing that bill. There was some confusion as to what powers uh, they would be granting by this uh, through this bill, and there was also statements about there being overbroad arrest powers now. In fact, cases are cited in which it's illegal for a person under the age of 21 to drive when there's alcohol even in the car, even if it's not theirs and it's totally in someone else's possession. Um, it's very poorly written and it's the current law of New Hampshire. So that was something they were talking about. Uh, then the, the person chairing the subcommittee said, 
well, if we ITL this bill, it may be difficult for us to get a ride along with the Liquor Commission because they offered to do a, a ride along with us to learn more. And one of the other reps said, oh, I don't think that would be the case. Um, and I just found it very interesting that this politician believed that if he didn't either, if the, this bill got killed that the Liquor Commission presumably wants, that then they would somehow be uh, less receptive to sharing information about the actual duties of the Liquor Commission with uh, the representative, or at least that was what he thought, because it seemed like he was being serious and not joking when he said, well, I don't know if we'll get the ride along if this goes through. So that, that, I thought that was a very interesting thing for a politician to note. Why does the world look like this? Well, it's because you're using these instead of these. Admittedly, so am I sometimes. But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.